Welcome to The Journey Home. My name is Catherine and I live in Nova Scotia, Canada. The following is an oracle reading of cards that I have chosen for you that I will read fully from and without advertisement. So please subscribe, hit that like and share. Enjoy your reading. This card chosen for you is from The Fairy's Oracle by Brian Froud. Card number 50, Arval Parrot communication. Arvel points to the light in his throat center. In esoteric lore, the energy center at the throat is about communication. Fairies are great communicators, though not necessarily in words that we use them. They speak through words, of course, but they also speak through the rustle of leaves, the pattern of clouds in the sky, the way flower petals fall. They tickle us with touches, almost too subtle to feel, trying to get our attention, and they sometimes speak through our dreams and daydreams. Their communications are something like those of cats, part verbal, part body language, part telepathy, and part pure fairy. Arvel says that we humans can semaphore each other by flashing the lights in our throat centers. In fact, he says we do that and read the messages on an unconscious level, which is one of the ways we pick up on the unspoken feelings and thoughts of each other. Arvel also says, and I agree, that almost any situation can be improved by people listening to each other, and that listening is a half full, half, half good communication. The other half, of course, is speaking truly and clearly some people use speech as a game or as a test for others to see if they can puzzle out the meaning. And this is fairly fun, as long as actual communication doesn't matter. When it does though, it is helpful if we try for clarity, at the very least, and hopefully wisdom as well. Arvel has many wise sayings to help us. It takes two to say yes, but only one to say no. Where the stream is shallowest, greatest is the noise. He that always complains is never pitied. Better than gold is a tale rightly told. Tis easier to give advice than to take it. From the place where deer are not, they're not easily to be got. Whoever burns his bottom must himself sit on it. Well, enough of that. Arvel reminds us that good, clear communication is sometimes hard work. It requires elbow grease because the elbows are the secondary energies of to the centers of the throat. He wishes you to know that his elbows are well greased. As a message, clear communications are vitally important here. Strive for verbal brilliance. Listen carefully. Be articulate. Be willing to calmly debate the issues and explore ideas with others. Open communication will enhance the chances of success all around. Arvel also suggests that the querent watch for body language, incomplete sentences, and unfinished thoughts, and try to discover what these signals are meant to get across. As a warning, communications that are blocked, messages may be going astray. Confusion is 70% likely in rising. Double check whenever possible. If you just heard someone say something out of character, it may well be that you misheard and misunderstood. There may be missing email posts gone astray or important words unsaid. Someone may have laryngitis, his throat blocked by unspoken words. Useful information held in silence benefits no one and may harm the situation. Before I read the second card for you, I just a reminder to please hit the like and help me beat those algorithms for every like that you give me is potentially a thousand suggestions and recommendations on YouTube. Thank you and God bless. Enjoy the rest of the reading. This card pulled for you is from the Fairy Forest, an oracle of the wild green world by Lucy Cavendish. Card number two, Duira, Healer, Nourishment, Nurture. It is time for you to focus completely on self-nurture and to support your own healing. 
emotionally, and in particular, physically. This means you must put aside all the excuses you have previously allowed to take precedence over your own well-being. Your own personal healing must be the top priority of your life. Seek out a holistic healer, a spiritual healer, and a physical healer, and create a well-being program that you then, then can fully commit to. Allow nothing to interrupt this. Nothing can take away this time you now must give to your own self. Your soul is asking this of you, and you must become devoted to your own healing. When you do this, you will find others heal too. That your healing journey inspires others around you to fully connect with their own needs and furthermore, allows them to become responsible for their own journey of healing. Healing food must be within your home and your ultimate home is your body. Healing exercise must be undertaken. Mindful movement. Healing environments are your refuge. Healing people nourish you. Healing thoughts and music and energies support you on this journey every day. Be relentless and merciless in culling anything or anyone who will not allow you to support yourself through what must be done. You must become fully devoted to your own healing and this must take place now. Artwork, Autumn Dryad. If you're still here, thanks for listening to this oracle reading. And please join us Wednesdays and Sunday nights live. If you would like some free cards pulled for you, I would love to pull them for you. Check the website out too. There are all kinds of perks for members over there. God bless and talk to you again soon. Bye-bye for now.